Hello, welcome to evening prayer on this Friday of the third week of Advent. Our readings today, first of all, from the uh, uh, Isaiah prophet, uh, we hear today that all, all are invited to God's kingdom, to be part of his family, all of everyone, foreigners, uh, shouldn't feel like they they would be excluded. That's all of us. Um, and we all are cordially invited. Now, the, uh, the issue there is that uh, we need to RSVP, do we not? We have to uh, accept the invitation. We have the privilege, <laughs> if you want to call it that, but we have the freedom to uh, to not respond to the invitation. Uh, that's the sadness that uh, people uh, fail to recognize the invitation um, or just don't care to, uh, to be joined in with the family of God. Uh, for us, you know, we are invited and in, in turn, uh, when we accept the invitation, we should extend that invitation to others to make sure others know that they too are included in the invitation. Our gospel today, John is being uh, spoken of again uh, in reference to him being the forerunner of Christ. People were going out to him and were were happy to listen to his uh, message of repentance. And he says, but Jesus is now saying that I have now a more important message. I, I have uh, the good news from heaven above and from my Father that uh, I'm here to, to rescue you, to bring you all to my Father's home. And uh, he said, I, he, basically, Jesus is laying it on the line, telling us uh, pretty clearly who he is. You know, his power, his authority, and uh, he's just laying it out there and saying, this is who I am. And uh, those who wish to, uh, to come after me are all, all welcome to come, you know. But uh, this is, uh, again, uh, he was rejected by people of his time. He's rejected by a lot of people of this time. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's sad that uh, we have such good news delivered and fail to understand it sometimes. So let's try to help explain it to the people who are struggling with understanding that. Let's, in a kind, gentle, and loving way, speak the truth of God's salvation. Let us pray our evening prayer in, the, uh, in thanksgiving for us being invited. And uh, so that's uh, really the, the, the beautiful key to everything. We are all invited. So I'll see you at the party, eh? In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Great is the Lord our God, transcending all other gods. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for his himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck 
and kings in their splendor he slew, Sion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Great is the Lord our God, transcending all other gods. House of Israel, bless the Lord. Sing psalms to him, for he is merciful. Lord, your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age. For the Lord does justice for his people. The Lord takes pity on his servants. Pagan idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear him, bless the Lord. From Zion, may the Lord be blessed, he who dwells in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, your name and your memory last forever. We stand to pray in your house and praise you with psalms of joy. We ask you in your kindness to have mercy on us in our lowliness. House of Israel, bless the Lord. Sing psalms to him, for he is merciful. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor or the glory do your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. In the Lord's eyes, one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years are as a day. The Lord does not delay in keeping his promise, though some consider it delay. Rather, he shows you generous patience, since he wants none to perish but all to come to repentance. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Let your face shine upon us, and we shall be saved, Lord God of power and might. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Out of Egypt I have called my son. He will come to save his people. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has, worked, he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Out of Egypt I have called my Son. He will come to save his people. With confidence let us call upon Christ, the shepherd and guardian of our souls. Lord, have mercy on us. Good shepherd of God's flock, gather all into your church. 
Lord, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, help the shepherds of your pilgrim people until you come again. May they zealously feed your flock. Lord, have mercy on us. Choose from among us heralds of your word to proclaim your gospel to the ends of the earth. Lord, have mercy on us. Take pity on all who struggle and fall along the way. May they find a friend to help them. Lord, have mercy on us. Show your glory in heaven to those who listen to your voice on earth. Lord, have mercy on us. And now let us pray with confidence as Christ our Lord asked. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. All-powerful Father, guide us with your love as we await the coming of your Son. Keep us faithful that we may be helped through life and brought to salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone. A great weekend. And we'll see you tomorrow.